Good morning. Welcome to part two of the Revit Full House Modeling Tutorial, Timber Framed. We're continuing from where we left off at part one. Just a reminder, we're modeling the house that you see in this image, and we're also going to model the internal timber frame structure, because in this tutorial, we're not just going to learn Revit. We're going to understand how this building could be constructed practically. And we architectural technologists want to know everything about how a building is constructed and how it's maintained to endure a long life. So let's continue with part two. So let's continue modeling the exterior facade of this building. By the way, if you're new and don't want to lose this channel, then hit that subscribe button. We're going to get back to this picture, but I just want to show you where we left off from last time. So we've done all the walls, the base wall, the base wall at five courses of brick high or six, whatever the picture was. And we've added plain walls here. Now the next task to do is well, we could add these windows in, but I want to break this wall up into white and dark sections so that's the first thing i'm going to do to the front here and maybe to the other side i'm going to keep this on the side for me to reference from the good thing is that we modeled this and the top wall separately so we don't have to worry about changing the bottom one get your split tool split elements and we're going to click on this wall. Click anywhere for now. We need one, two, three, and four cuts. And let's take this wall and edit type. Edit. And, oh, we forgot to carry out our golden rule. Always duplicate so you don't lose your original main wall exterior white always duplicate I'm going to edit and we're going to change this render by this invisible box here any second all right and remember to always duplicate this as well Render white. Yep, and you don't just start changing things yet. You go into appearance and duplicate the asset. And wait. And wait. Uh, there we go. Right, now we can go into here. Actually, we can do it from here. Now we can choose this white color, or we can make it a little bit colorful. Ah, uh, that'll do. Looks about the same. Does it matter? It actually looks more white than that. Fine, we'll just go with white. Full white. A little bit darker. Okay. Then go into graphics. And we're using render appearance already. So hit OK. And OK. And OK. We've changed a piece of wall. I'm going to do the same to this split that we made as well. Alright. You can see how it's starting to look like this. Right. Now we're going to sort this side out. Alright, we're doing a rough job at the moment. We'll clean it up in a minute. Split it on the edge there. And change the wall to white. Alright, go into your front face. And... Maybe we can use the Align tool. And I'm using the tab on my keyboard to cycle through the choices. 
the tab button. I'm hovering my mouse over here and using the tab button to cycle through the choices until I get the line that I want. So I click it and then I'm going to click this line. And if it's not highlighting the way I want, use the tab button to cycle through the choices. And there you go. Same to this side now. Cycle through the choices. Cycle through the choices. Repeat. Cycle through the choices until you click the line that you want. So you first click the thing that you want to align to. Then you click the thing that you want to align to the first thing that you clicked. And if you use multiple align here, multiple alignment, you can click the first thing that you want something to align to. And then align lots of things to it. No room for mistakes. It's a careful job. All right. We've done this much. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is sort out this side here and throw a window in too. I guess we'll throw a window in the other side too. Maybe some at the back as well and sort that out. In fact, what I'm going to do is click the wall. I'm holding control on my keyboard to select all of them. Windows. And with them highlighted, my hand is off the keyboard now. Going into ground FFL. And I'm clicking this mirror draw axis tool while those are highlighted so that we can mirror them to this side. To find the center point of this wall, we need to find the triangle symbol. And there it is. Click it. Create the mirror. I want it to mirror this way. And we got to sort the black wall out. Okay, this should be simple. Just repeat what I did before. Split. 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 Get rid of that wall. And that wall. And we can move, well, we can work with this now. Go back, align to this line, that line. Did I not split this? Let's move it over a little so we can see. So this wall is stuck to this. And if I try moving it, it drags this wall along with it. I'm going to click this line, there's a dot here, blue dot, the drag wall end, right click it and disallow join. Now you can move it. That's not an accurate way of moving it. I'll just cut this wall's size down and move it over to the middle. Now I can re-allow this join. Where are you? It doesn't really matter because we're going to align it to here anyway. You can drag it like this. 
and this one's aligned there we can drag this end and let's align this and do the same for here in a later video I'm going to do the interior of this and the back wall here will look different but for now this is how it will be now I want to go into east I want to view this building from this face here and I want to throw this window in so I will window I think we uh, have something like this yeah that looks about 900 by 900 910 by 910 shall we make it a little bigger we can change the size let me drop it in and then I'll select it edit type duplicate um 1000 by 1000 and then we come down here and change the rough width and rough height or height and width it doesn't matter both will change anyway okay and hit okay and that's a little bit bigger back to the east view and I want to centralize this there's a number of ways to do it I like to do it the easy way hit DL on the keyboard look for the center line of this wall we have two center lines huh because of this okay we can work around that I'll create another center line draw a line up like this and another line from this corner and then join them together and then find the center of this line then we can align the center of the window to this line and what should the height be according to this picture it looks like the bottom window sills are level so that's what we'll do the sill height is 900 let's test this by moving it up and down yes this number has changed control Z go to here and the sill height should be 900 so now we're going to create this uh, black square border around the window it'll be simply splitting with the split tool click click and now go into 3d and go right I thought I split this wall must be because it's pinned I split that wall did I control Z control Z okay you want to be difficult unpin this wall and then try splitting it again hmm now this might cause a problem later when we're trying to attach this wall to the roof but if it causes a problem at the time we'll fix it but for now let's just do what we're doing I think these borders are about the same width as the window here so I'm gonna do the same thing using the DI 
tool to dimension um, I can edit this profile so I can move this line by 90 millimeters move constraint because I don't care and move this one to the right by 10 then hit OK and now to align this wall to this wall Mm -hmm. We're having a problem. Okay, we're having a problem. This wall is not playing. It's not playing along. There's always something in Revit. I think you should understand how this all works by now, so we'll leave this side blank for now. <laughs> 